growing up, my family, um, like, we didn't focus on looks and stuff like that that much. So as a kid, it wasn't really something that I worried about. I wasn't surrounded by any of that kind of diet culture and stuff until I hit college. Um, and it was like a lot just slammed in my face. I traveled to China with um, some BYU groups and it was a really great time. But this was when it got really, really bad. I started eating less and I didn't really think it was a problem at the time because I thought, oh, you know, this will just help me lose some weight and it's not going to be a big deal. And at the beginning it wasn't, you know, I, was, I wasn't um, hurting myself yet. I would probably eat like two spoonfuls of rice a day. Um, you know, when you don't eat, your hair starts to fall out um, and you lose your period and really bad health consequences. But my body didn't really look a lot smaller, so no one really still noticed. And when I got home from China, um, I decided to go on a mission and I thought everything was fine. Um, I got to serve in Oregon and it was a beautiful place and I had amazing companions. But when COVID hit, um, it was really, really hard on me. I started having suicidal thoughts, which was really hard. <laughs> and so I felt like I, I needed to talk to someone about it finally. I remember I was in my little apartment with my mission companion and I was just so sad. I went to the bathroom, I wanted to be alone, so I sat in the bathroom and just couldn't stop crying. And I, and that, at that moment, I just, I didn't want to be on earth anymore. I knew deep down somewhere that I had a purpose in life, but I, I could not see it, like, at all in that moment. But I wanted to be able to see it. I was able to get a priesthood blessing, like, the day after. He promised me that when I went home, I would be able to bless the women around me. Specifically, he said the women around me. And he said that my mission was completed and I had another mission I needed to go at home. Coming home was really hard at first. I jumped into therapy. I went to the doctor and I was prescribed some medication that has like literally changed my life. I, I focus a lot on exercise because that is something that has really increased my mental health eating healthfully. Of course, when you have an eating disorder, um, it's really common to start cutting out more and more and more foods. So what I've been trying to focus on is adding more and more healthy foods into my diet rather than like cutting out food groups. I often write in my journal how I'm feeling and then I usually feel like I can move on and do, continue to do the habits that, ha that are healthy for me. I decided to switch my major as well because I'd been doing music before. I decided to switch to public health and um, I've just loved it so much. One of the things that's really helped me as I've gotten home is um, starting this club, the BYU Women's Health Association, because I feel like I'm kind of more fulfilling that purpose that I was promised in my blessing to help girls um, at BYU. It still is hard for me to love myself some days, <laughs> um, but having that purpose and that love just keeps me going through every day. Mm -hmm.